cup of coffee, then I'll... Welcome to coffee time. Sorry about my voice. And I've been having a lot of coughing fits. I'll probably have to do a lot of cuts. Bear with me. The show must go on. First thing on my list here is the Sunday News program. I don't know if I'm going to continue it. It's getting reasonable views, but it's about 25% of the ones that I put out are getting thumbs down. Not sure what that's all about. That'll really mess up my analytics over time and make videos even harder to locate. So I may just stop it. I'll wait to hear some comments on it, uh, some ideas, some input. But um, right now, hey, if that many people don't like it, maybe I won't do it. I'm asked all the time about why do you take a bus to Colombia? Why don't you fly? Flying in and out of Ecuador is problematic. A lot of taxes. And the last time I looked up a flight for Bogota from Cuenca was $2,000. Now I'm sure there's cheaper ones. But here's the deal. I can get on a bus, and granted it takes me two days, but there and back is just over a hundred dollars and if I take the sleeper buses I can sleep part of the way so even if the flight was only three or four hundred dollars a hundred bucks why not I don't have money to burn so um, I don't I don't mind the buses now that I know the right buses to take and maybe I'll do an update on the uh, bus situation to Columbia uh, coming up now many people have watched that interview uh, with the uh, Christian Money guy who came from the United States and uh, interviewed me. Um, it was a good time. It was nice to meet them. Uh, since he's done that interview, he did a few short clips uh, around uh, Cuenca. And when he got back, he did a radio show for about an hour. and. Probably a third of that was on the uh, interview that we did. So if you haven't watched it, check it out. Oh, cost of living is going to be the death of me. Why are you doing so many on cost of living? Which is funny because I get so many people that constantly ask me about the cost of living, despite all the comments I've made on it and videos specifically about it. I just can't win. I can't seem to make it understood. But the bottom line of why I motivate on my end anything about cost of living is simply to counteract the propaganda about how you can live great or live like a king on $1,000 or $800 or as pathetic as it was not so long ago, what, $300? It's ridiculous. And so when I see things like that, I try to counteract it with a little, uh, with a little sanity. I want to comment on super maxi prices recently. Uh, for a number of months now, the prices keep coming down. And not only that, but they're having sales, specials. They put this yellow tag on the shelf for a particular product, and it could be 15%. 20%, 25% off. I've seen 50% off. And in the past, they would occasionally do that. A few were in and around the store, and they would last a day or two. Now these price specials are going up, and it seems they're lasting a few weeks at a time. I mean, you never know. I wouldn't count on it, but it's, it's really nice. I've noticed my shopping costs at Super Maxi are way down from what they were before they started this uh, practice and before there were discounts. Now, there's still a lot of things that are quite expensive there. That's Ecuador. There's nothing you could do about it. But a lot of the items, a lot of the items that 
I buy on a regular basis. Um, the price is getting quite reasonable, and I, I like it. So um, there's some real improvements going on in Cuenca. I've mentioned a number of times in the last year, the quality of restaurants keeps going up. We've got a few restaurants around town that are from outside of Ecuador investors that have opened up restaurants here. And it's great to have food from other parts of the world showing up here when in the past it was very difficult to find good restaurants. Now it's becoming more the norm. Now I don't mean the, you know, the cheap El Marzo's, nothing's changed there, but I mean restaurants if you want to go out for a nice lunch or a nice dinner, you have so many choices now. It's exploded with good restaurants. I'm real happy about that. So you're getting cheaper prices at Super Maxi, you're getting these good restaurants coming in. You know, people that are arriving here in Cuenca now versus prior to a year ago, and if you go back two, three years or more, it's really quite a different place. It's, um, it's actually becoming almost a dramatically different place. And while there's a lot of issues, drug use is going up, it's skyrocketing. You've got the immigration problem. You have huge unemployment issues. Having said all that, rent prices have stabilized. It's even easier to make a deal now. Food prices are coming down. As far as um, local prices, things within Ecuador, they're really stable. There's no sense of inflation at all. And what you pay now is what you paid a couple years ago. So all in all, it's, uh, it's a real positive. For everybody living in Cuenca or planning to come here, uh, it's, it's a real boost. And I'm, I'm very, very happy to see it. And the last thing I'll mention, I haven't talked about this in quite some time, but it's my Patreon account, Patreon uh, subscribers. I want to thank you. It's making a big difference. I appreciate your support of the channel. It's gratifying to know that people find value in videos that I'm doing. Now I realize that, you know, some videos are a lemon and some are quite good as far as information goes. I realize that the editing quality, uh, the production quality is not the greatest in the world. I do the best I can with what I've got. But by people supporting the channel through that Patreon account, it means a lot to me. And I haven't said thank you in a while. I just wanted to let you know how much I appreciate it. I know who you are and um, it means a lot to me. It's even meant the difference on whether I would stop doing these videos or not. It's when people are supporting you in a tangible way, it makes you want to continue doing videos, not give up on them. So, thank you. And that's it for today. See you soon.